Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life and welcome to the 12th installment of Fewer's Knives. All these knives are knives that you guys, the viewers of this channel, have been making. Really cool blades coming up, let's take a look at what we've got. Alright, this first knife was sent to me from Jonas. He is a 19 year old knife maker from Germany. This is the 7th knife that he's made and the one that he is by far the most proud of. And this is a fantastic looking blade. What a lot of intricate woodwork there on the handles and the blade just, wow, this is absolutely amazing. Also, Jonas has a YouTube channel called Blood Forge Knives. Go check that out. He's got some really cool videos on making knives. Jonas, this looks absolutely fantastic. Keep up the great work. All right, now this next knife was sent to me from Gord, and Gord is from Mosley, Alberta, which is actually only about 20 minutes from where I live, so that is really cool to see a knife uh, from somebody who watches the channel that actually lives close to me. Um, for this knife, he used O1 tool steel. He also used an empty rifle cartridge for the brass bolster there, as well as the lanyard hole, so that is a really, really cool idea. Then obviously he's got antler for the handles. Gord, this is an absolutely fantastic looking knife. Thank you so much for sending this in. All right, this knife was sent to me by Patrick. Uh, this is the first knife he's made and he made a chopper. Uh, he says he's been watching the channel, really enjoys a lot of the inspiration, the ideas that come from it. And uh, he said that he made this knife just for fun. You know, when I hear somebody saying that they make a knife just for fun, that really lets you know that they're going about it the right way and for the right reasons. So very nicely done, Patrick. Brady sent in some pictures of these knives that he's working on. Uh, those two bottom ones there, he's still working on. He didn't have them quite finished at the time he sent the email. But he did get this big meat cleaver finished up. Uh, this was a piece of 3 8 thick a W2 steel. And for the scales, he used some scrap teak that he had laying around. Very nice looking cleaver there, Brady. Keep up the great work and thank you for sharing this with us. Joe the Builder is a 15 year old baker from Denmark and actually that's the name of his YouTube channel, Joe the Builder. Uh, he's actually got a video on his channel about how he made this knife. He hand forged the Damascus out of saw blades and some mild steel. This is absolutely fantastic work. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. You can check out his YouTube channel where he made this. I watched that video myself and it is really, really cool. So very nicely done. Thank you so much for sending this in. Patrick is a 24 year old knife maker from Germany. He's been a subscriber for quite a while. He says he really enjoys the channel. And this was the first knife he's made. He made this from O1 tool steel and the wood scales are actually Cocobolo from Texas. This is a great looking blade, Patrick. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Next we go to New Jersey and this is a knife sent to me by a young man named Brody. He made this thing entirely with hand tools. The steel is O1. He's got a red, white and blue G10 for the scales. And he actually made this knife as a gift for a scoutmaster at an Eagle Scout ceremony. So that is really, really cool. What a great job on this blade. I really like that shape. This is very well done. Eduardo is a 20 year old knife maker from Brazil. This is the very first knife he's made. For the steel he used 5160 and for the handle skills he used Brazilian walnut. That is a great looking blade. I really like the way that wood finished up there and just the shape looks so comfortable. Eduardo, this is a great looking knife. Thank you for sharing this with us. And we're going to wrap up this edition of Viewers Knives by taking a look at this. This was sent to me by a 14 year old knife maker named Drew. This is the very first knife he's ever made. The steel he used is O1. He used black figured walnut for the scales and brass pins to keep everything together. He also mentioned that he almost lost his finger while he's cutting those scales out. So Drew, be careful definitely, but keep on making knives because this looks absolutely fantastic. Thanks to everybody for sending your knives in. If you'd like to have your knife featured on this channel, just email me, jeremy at homesteadknives.com, and we will get it shared. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Show your support for all these great makers doing really cool things. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.